Hello students, welcome in my YouTube channel Sivam Education for Chemistry. Now myself is Gangani sir, I will discuss with you today carbidelamine test. Now what is the importance of carbidelamine test? Then it is observed that this carbidelamine test is used to identify primary amine in a so purpose of carbidelamine test. Carbidelamine test, we can say that by using a carbidelamine test, we can identify identify it is used to identify primary amine in lab it means secondary and tertiary amine does not give carbidelamine test so we can write this thing secondary and tertiary amine does not give carbidelamine test now in carbidelamine test we have taken this primary amine this primary amine is allowed to react with a alkaline solution of chloroform. Now chloroform solution we have prepared in a potassium hydroxide. So when we hit this thing, then uh, foul smell containing poisonous and highly toxic isocyanide compound will produce or we can say isocyanide gas will produce. And with this we are getting common byproduct, 3 molecule of potassium chloride and 2 molecule of water. Whatever isocyanide will produce, it will be in the form of gas. So it is observed that primary amine give this carbidelamine test while secondary and tertiary amine does not give. So question will arise, how this primary amine will convert in secondary amine. So it is an exact step of mechanism. To understood this thing, you have to must understood mechanism. Now, suppose we have taken a chloroform. Then in a chloroform, this chlorine are attached with a carbon. Now, electronegativity of chlorine is more. Therefore, this bond electron is attracted towards chlorine. Therefore, hydrogen is a partially positive charge and chlorine is a partially negative charge. So, this hydrogen is a little acidic property. Now, we have taken an alkaline medium. In this, we have hydroxyl ion. This hydroxyl ion will approach to this H plus and it will remove in the form of water molecule. And as a result, as a result, we will get this type of structure. Now here, this bond electron will transfer on carbon. So carbon having a negative charge and it has a chlorine atom. So now this step is comparatively very fast step. This step is comparatively fast step. Now whatever chlorine obtain, it has a tendency to attract this bond electron. So now in a second step, dichlorocarbene formation occur. Whenever we have a chloroform with an alkali, then dichlorocarbene will form. So it is observed that here out of these three, any one chlorine will remove with the electron and as a result we will get a carbon. Now this carbon having a, we can say that this carbon having a two electron and it is a no any charge. This bond will go with, this chlorine will go with the electron. So it will remove in the form of chloride ion. So it will get a negative charge and carbon having a positive. So positive negative charge will be neutral. Now it has a two electron. So now this step is comparatively slow step and rate determining step. Now this whatever dichlorocarbene form, this dichlorocarbene will approach to amine. We know that this amine molecule nitrogen having a non-bonding electron pair. Now carbon of dichlorocarbene having a two electron pair and it has a two bond comparatively less. So this nitrogen donate electron pair to carbon and as a result carbon nitrogen sigma bond formation will occur. So we can write a new structure in this way. This nitrogen having a two hydrogen it has a donated electron pair to carbon so it is a positive charge. Now nitrogen and carbon having a sigma bond. This carbon having a two electron and it is carbon having a two electron and chlorine atom. Now one by one, one by one, it is 
observe that this hyd this hydrogen will remove this chlorine will remove with the electron so it will remove in the form of hcl it remove in the form of hcl h chloride ion will remove with the electron pair and as a result double bond will form between a double bond will form between a carbon and nitrogen so this second bond will be pi bond and same step repeated again once again so this chlorine will go with the electron this hydrogen will remove hcl our solution is alkaline solution in alkaline solution potassium hydroxide will react with it it remove in the form of kcl and two water molecule so this on reaction with alkali it will convert it into potassium chloride and water molecule and we get this type of structure in which nitrogen having a triple bond with carbon now nitrogen having a positive charge and carbon with a one valency less and electron pair it has therefore it has a negative charge so whatever compound obtain it is known as a isocyanide now in a case of secondary amine in a case of secondary amine nitrogen having only one hydrogen therefore secondary amine cannot form second pi bond and therefore secondary amine does not give carbyl amine test similarly tertiary amine nitrogen having no hydrogen atom therefore it is not able to form pi bond so it is observed that carbyl amine test will be given by only primary amine secondary and tertiary amine does not give carbyl amine test now some example of carbyl amine test we can study that suppose we have a taken this compound methyl amine or we can say it is iupacin and methane amine now this methane amine on carbyl amine test on reaction with a chloroform in alkaline solution when we heat this with a chloroform in alkaline solution it give us poisonous and toxic compound this is known as methyl isocyanide in short we can write mic and two by product will be common three molecule of kcl and two molecule of water similarly if we have aniline then aniline is also giving us carbyl amine test if aniline is heated with the chloroform and potassium hydroxide so when we heat this with the chloroform and three moles of potassium hydroxide is same way reaction occur this nh2 group will converted into isocyanide whatever compound obtained it is known as a phenyl isocyanide now this phenyl isocyanide whatever obtained to us whatever phenyl isocyanide obtained to us it is toxic in nature and two common by product will be obtained this will be a 3 kcl and two water molecule so this carbyl amine test will be given by primary amine so now in various competitive exam you are given various um, structure of amine you have to identify which amine will give carbyl amine test and which will not give so try to detect out of this which amine will not give a carbyl amine test just you have to identify now out of this which amine will give carbyl amine test and which will not give this you have to detect or you have to inform now students there are six different example are given to you you have to identify which amine will give carbyl amine test to identify you have to you should know that if primary amine means it is a formula rnh2 means nh2 is there then it is a primary amine and primary amine will give carbyl amine test while if it is a secondary amine nitrogen in one hydrogen or no hydrogen then it doesn't give carbyl amine test so now you can identify this amine is which type of amine secondary amine so it is a secondary amine so it will not give carbyl amine test now identify this is a primary aliphatic amine so it will give a carbyl amine test once again this structure is for secondary amine and it is secondary amine therefore it will not give carbyl amine test now you observe this structure is not for amine it is structure for a amide it is structure for amide so carbyl amine test will be not given because carbyl amine test is used for primary amine only not for amide similarly this is the structure of secondary amine so it will not give carbyl amine test now this is structure of 
2 methyl aniline and it is primary amine. So, this will give a carbyl amine test. So, now structure number 2 and 6 will give carbyl amine test while remaining all structure will not give carbyl amine test. Now, students, please share and subscribe my channel and inform to other students also.